Howdy, Possum Patty here. <laughs> and yes, I have a fleece on right now. It was only 40 degrees when I woke up this morning and we've already turned off the heat. It, yeah, in two days, it's going to go back up to 80. So it's just that crazy New England spring weather right now. Well, that opening was a little bit of a preview of Old Mystic Village by the Mystic Aquarium and the Old Mystic Seaport in Mystic, Connecticut. <laughs> and um, yeah, we went down there, we went to the movies at the Mystic Lux Luxury Theater, and we saw Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. And it makes me laugh. I think it's a funny movie. It's just my sense of humor, let me tell you. So, um, yeah, it was a fun day, so I'll probably put a little bit about that in my journal. But today I have a collective haul, Thrifty Bargains for Junk Journalers. And I went to the Sunday Flea Market. I haven't done that in weeks, believe me. Uh, we went to the library book sale, but I walked out with only two books. And I have just a couple items from the Dollar Tree. So come on along. Okay, let's start with um, let's start with the flea market since that stuff is already on the desk. I was sort of looking through the papers that I got. So first thing is the gentleman was there that I had bought, you know, like a huge stack of craft supplies from back the first day that we went to the flea market, and I got. A lot of stuff for a really good price and I was surprised that he had anything at all left but he did have two buckets of things and one was sort of like these crafty items and so I got these really gorgeous charms I thought they would look great look at that bird with the nest and this one has a crown and a crystal so this was a dollar and this was a dollar. So I've got some mod <laughs> tie-dyed pom-poms here. I have no, no idea what I'll do with them. But you know, I just made that uh, 60s groovy page in my journal. And uh, these would have looked really cute on there. But So I'll put these things in stock. And I think, yeah, I think I paid a dollar each. So you had a whole bucket of dollar each. And then... I was walking through, um, and I saw he still had some packs of paper left. So I said, well, let me go through the paper. I know I, I kind of picked it out the first time I saw him there. But I'm thinking, okay, it's almost summer, and I do have a summer journal, my mermaid tail journal that I need to work on. And so, you know, I'm trying to think in my head, what journals am I working on? So what paper might I need? And this was Kaiser Crafts High Tide. This is brand new in the package. It says $12.50 on the back. And it's six patterns, 12 by 12, double-sided. Two sheets of each. So this is double-sided coordinating sticker set, it says. Extra bonus. Okay, so it, it, the colors are muted, but... You know, it's like vintage-y, but has this, this little bit of teal in there. And you can see backsides are darker. I just love this color here. And this is called the High Tide Collection. Oh, I love the nautical maps, the ropes, and the shells. Got anchors on the back. And then here's the sticker sheet. So this will go into my summer beach journal. So this alone was um, the full price if you bought it brand new was $12.50. So I paid, um, I think I paid $10 for everything. So those two items that I just showed you came from the $1 bucket. And then I added, whoops, I'll move my camera here. Then I added all this paper, and he said $10. So if that was $2, this was $8, what I paid for this pack, the whole pile that I'm going to show you here. 
And then I am one of these days going to make my Paris journal. C'est la vie. And so I've been collecting little bit by little bit. And this was not new. This was already open and I did count the pages and there are nine pages missing. The tape is still on here. Let me get it off carefully. I think I said nine. Yeah, because it's supposed to be 48 pages and there are 39, 39 and 9, 48. So I love this. Look at these roses. And I like this fashion paper too. And of course we've got the uh, Eiffel Tower, Arc de Triomphe. I don't know where that wheel is. I didn't see that. So this is, will be a um, just a memory book, bonjour, and I have the pictures from our trip, and I'll probably do like I'm doing with the um, with the farm memory book. I'll put together the journal, and then I'll pick out enough pictures to fill the journal up, and then just go ahead and work on it. I like that one. I'm, I'm, why is this tape on it? I'm going to get that tape off. That's annoying. There's only one page with the Eiffel Tower, but that's okay. Fleur de Lis. Parfum. <laughs> French poodles. Bonjour. Paris. What does it say? A belle. La vie est belle. Bella. I don't know. Je t'aime. My French is no good. Bon appetit. <laughs> oh, I love these little scooters. Oh, this looks like the street we stayed on because over the buildings we could see the Eiffel Tower. Oh, French bulldog. Oh. Life is beautiful. I like this pattern here. Okay, that was T.T. knocking at the door. She wasn't here, I know, from my opening ceremony. <laughs> she was in the other room. But, you know, she hears me talking. She has to come in. Okay, now, I found this pad. I'm like, why didn't anybody already buy this? Watercolorist. This is the DCWV. 36 sheets. Brand new. I just, before I turned on the camera, pulled off the tape on this one already. And... The colors in here are gorgeous, and you get 36 double-sided sheets. And look at this. Oh, I love this. And look. Look at this. Double-sided. Look at this. Beautiful watercolors. Oh, I'd love to learn how to paint that. I wonder if I could look at that and try to paint roses like that. And then you see the other side. And this one's gorgeous, too. Keep these in my lap now. And then there's these sheets. Look at this. It's all like punchinella. <laughs> these are very cool. I don't think I don't think I've ever had a pad of paper with those kind of sheets in it. But look at this. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Like a lace edge. And the other side is like a trellis design. It's got ombre effect to it. Beautiful watercolor tags. And then there's uh, some more of that punched out paper. Some more roses. This is going to be, oh, the polka dots. This is going to be an awesome summer pack. Today is the day to start living your dreams. Live, love. Live, laugh, love. Dreams work when you do. Mm, thank you. Follow your dreams. They know the way. Believe in the good. Believe in the good in the world. Thinking of you today. Just a bunch of cut aparts there. And this is gorgeous. I love it. This is my fave pack. And I was trying to get a price on this one online. And look at these colors are gorgeous. And another cutout page. Look at this. 
and these sets with the double-sided and the punched out papers they're the, like 15 to 20 dollars for um, to buy this brand new and it is brand new I just opened it up all the paper is still here and I got this as part of my ten dollar deal so I added it up I got um, I lost my paper I added it up on so all together with all the loose papers and the paper packs it was about 123 sheets of paper 123 sheets of paper um, plus the pom-poms and the charms that was ten dollars so once I found out just this pack alone would have cost me like 15 to 20 dollars I'm like oh well if you can meet out there I'm trying to hold the cat in one hand and flip papers with the other so yeah I love this this is gorgeous this is a premium stack very nice very nice all right I threw that on the floor now I bought a bunch of this rose cafe I had some papers and some ephemera I think it's right over there so the last time I saw this vendor yeah I picked up all these chipboard things and this ephemera pack and some paper so I have to find where I put the paper for this and this is um, the stickers that go with it so I do have some of this paper and some of the ephemera and now I have the stickers I didn't see that the first time I was there but it could have been in the bucket the other lady was looking in and this is um, really nice paper this is the K, K and Company but it's, it's embossed it's gorgeous this will be the summer journal Sandy Toes collection summer journal I think I have plenty of paper to, <laughs> to finish the summer journal I made last year and probably make another summer journal and this is graphic 45 by the sea collection and yes this is double-sided by the sea collection double-sided by the sea collection by the sea collection look at that and that gorgeous by the sea collection I can almost like use this as a journal cover right here that's a pretty big journal though hmm that would be fun though I gotta think about that all right, just put those down for now okay and this is the primrose and I found two two for this collection they're double sided but you can see how these go together there are only two of those and it's a bow bunny and then I have the bow bunny and I got two prairie chic double sided and then we're back to graphic 45 oh I picked up a couple of these the last time I was there I have um, March April May I think June maybe March April and May anyway a couple of the months from that set and this is graphic 45 botanical tea collection and you know I have my tea journal but these colors are a little bit too pastel but I could probably still use some of this and this again is the botanical tea collection sweet chamomile it says up there <laughs> sweet chamomile and botanical tea collection look at this it's gorgeous and the hummingbirds oh my hummingbirds are back I'll have to journal about that so I can show you my hummingbirds so this is American crafts and there's a couple of kitty cat papers um, these are double sided I love my cat it says <laughs> I love my cat and this I thought this one was really cute this one's happy tails bow bunny happy tails and that's double sided it says meow purr purr on the back I thought this one was really cute that's not double sided and then this is a collection called Violet Crush. And you know what? I think I might have picked some of these up 
the first time I was at the flea market. Ooh. And these are double sided. Cut aparts here. So I'll have to find those and add these. Oh, I like that one. To that one. That's gorgeous. And then this is just by itself. There was nothing really to go with that one, but I kind of liked it. And of course, I saw Winnie the Pooh and Tigger and Eeyore and Piglet. And this one's embossed with glitter. I thought these were kind of fall looking. I do have a steampunk journal I haven't started yet. Double sided, steampunk, one sided. And this is steampunk. It's got gears in it and it's double sided. And this is flower bed, it's called. I don't know what it goes with, but I thought it was kind of fun for fall and so quirky. <laughs> quirky birds. Got my quirky owls here. And that's just brown on the other side. And do these go together? No. But they sort of do, don't they? <laughs> the brown on the back does. So this will be great for fall. And then this one's embossed. Beautiful suns. I might have to put this one with the summer. With the summer papers and not the fall papers. But this can stay with the fall papers. Oh, and here's a Paris. This has got to go with the French country. That can either be the farm journal or the Paris journal. Okay, I have plans to redo my, my little travel, my sewing travel kit. Uh, because I decided that I want one that closes up. And this has a zipper. This is a Vera Bradley in excellent condition. I mean, it is like brand new. I don't see any worn out spots on it whatsoever. And you know what these things cost brand new. Lots of money. And what I like about them, buying them used, is I just throw them in the washing machine and wash them. <laughs> so I think this is a good size. It's got some pockets on the inside. Zipper on the outside. I was just looking to see if it had a zipper on the inside. I don't think so. No. Okay. So that's good though. It's got the little side pocket there. One over there. I, I do have a bunch of Vera Bradleys. <laughs> um, I really didn't need another one, but this one is going to have a purpose. I know I have some I use for journaling and different things, but I'm going to be putting some stuff that's in here. And I'm going to rework this whole bag here and give this back to my garden tools. <laughs> give that back to my garden tools and I'm going to put the sewing stuff in here so I could zip it up and take it with me. So what I say? $3. I got a really good bargain on ink for my printer. I have an HP printer and I saw this ink and I'm like, is that my number? Is that my printer number? Why can't I remember this? I'm like, I think that's my printer number. I think that's the ink I take. So anyway, so she gave me three packages for $10 and I've got the cyan, magenta, and yellow she had a $5 price on it, and this is, I don't know what this costs, a lot. <laughs> and the 950 XL Black. XL means it's extra, um, two times as much ink in there. These two together, if I buy them at Walmart, it's like $120 or something. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. <laughs> price of ink for these printers is costs way more than what the printer costs. So I think they sell you the printer for cheap so you'll spend all the money on the ink. And then she threw in this one which is an extra large yellow. And this one caught my eye because my printer just said the other day it was getting low on the yellow. Not out, just getting low it said. And so I saw this and I picked it up and then I saw she had these. And these are brand new, not even opened. I guess she bought a new printer, she said. So I've got 
over $100 worth of HP ink for $10. So that was a bargain. I am very happy with this. <laughs> very, very happy with this. I got one little golden book and it was a dollar. And I got Cinderella <laughs> to add to my collection. And it's, this one was in good shape. It's an old one, 1986. I don't think they're vintage unless you get down to the 70s and then you've got the antique ones that are really old. But it's, there's no scribbling or anything in it. And the cover's in really good shape for 1986. So I'm gonna put that with my little golden books. And then I saw this and I had to laugh because I was just watching somebody the other day making clusters and then she poked three holes in the clusters and she put in her grommets and then she took her, um, she used a baker's twine from the Dollar Tree, I believe, and she sewed around it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that reminds me of the old sewing cards. And then I saw this, <laughs> and here are the old sewing cards. And this is a circus, it looks like. And you can see the holes there. This is a complicated one. A little girl with the balloon. You can see the holes better on the back. It's Calliope and the clown. Oh, I didn't even count. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. I, they're all there. All right, so they're all there and in good shape for the shape they're in. And the vintage box, I didn't pay $4. I think I paid $3 for it. I was only going to buy it if it was like 2 or $3. I'll have to look up and see when this is from. It says 49. I wonder if this is 1949. Could be. All right, I'm going to look this up. And I have an idea for a slow stitch project. And, um, yeah, I just bought these because I've been talking about them. I've been thinking about it. And I thought, oh, that's fun. So I think I said $3 for that. And the last thing I got at the flea market was some material. Do I need material? No, I don't need material. When we get to the end of the pile, you'll know why I bought it, though. But this is really fun. Look at this. And then there's this pink polka dot and lime green. And there's a lot here. I don't need this much. You know, I like smaller pieces of scrap, actually, because, you know, I'm just going to cut it up and use it in small projects. But... I'll think of something to use for it. I just, bright colors. Well, the guy wanted like, I think he wanted $3 for the whole bag of material. And I said, well, I'll pick out some and give you $2. And he said, okay. So I'm like, cause I didn't want everything that was in there. There was like old curtain and something in there. But you know what? Now I'm thinking it was a really heavy material. Would have been a nice cover maybe for a journal. Anyway, keep moving. So this is, I believe, there's a yard of this and probably another yard of this and almost a yard of this. This is crazy wild, but I figured I'd cut this up and use it for something and a little scrap of that. And look at this, Betty Boop. And it says, hey, sister. <laughs> that was so cute. I can put that in my sister tea journal or use it for some slow stitching projects. And then this was wild crazy, isn't it? And this is called KP Kids and Company for a Quilt Shop. But this reminded me of Mexico and I wanna do my um, Frida Kahlo journal. I said, well, that's nice and colorful. And this is the same company. And then I think this is the same company too. So that I think that all goes together. And this is why I went digging through the pile. Okay. 
This is Mary Engelbright. <laughs> and they're not very big, but that's okay because I really don't need big. I like, I want a lot of small scraps, not a few giant pieces of material. <laughs> so like some of these larger pieces, I'll probably cut off some smaller pieces and I have an idea to make a fabric journal. So stay tuned for that to put all my little scraps in to put in my my new sewing bag to take with me when I go places. So this is Royal Stuff. And this is Mary's. And I love this yellow with the flowers. And this is also Mary, the black and white checks and the red and white checks. This is Mary too. And then we've got this one with the flowers and the jewels on it. So I was after that Mary Engelbright material and I didn't want everything in the bag, but I figured, well, I'll take some of this other fun stuff and see if I can do something with it. I only got two books from the book sale. And this, again, will go with my Frida Kahlo. Off we go to Mexico. And I just love the bright, colorful... Like, I'm going to cut these out and put them in the journal. Look at this. Look at this. So bright and colorful. And here's all the monarch butterflies. Fiesta going on here. I just thought this was, would be so fun to cut up and make, you know, make a tag out of this or a cluster or a pocket on a page. So that's headed towards a journal. And this one probably is not. <laughs> this is a guide in history to Connecticut state parks and forests. And I saw this. I'm like, oh, wow. Well, the children's book is like 25 cents. And this book is like a dollar. Keeps jumping in the dollar bag bag. <laughs> the dollar tree bag. Um yeah, it gives a history behind all the state parks in Connecticut. And, you know, Stanley's new motto is go everywhere, see everything. <laughs> so I know they have a guide online. But sometimes it's nice, you know, just to sit and browse through a book. Plus, you can take the book with you and read about where you are. And it has pictures. So if I do a journal page about, you know, the... the she jumping up on my lap. So, you know, if I go to one of the parks and then I want to do a journal page about it, I can cut out some of this information or copy some of it into, into the journal. So that is all I got from the book sale. Tiki's already jumping in my bag here. So what did I get? Oh, this is for, <laughs> this is for a new project. I don't need any stencils, but this is for a new project I'm going to do on modern, modern folk art, modern folk art. And they didn't have the other things I was looking for, but I picked this up and that's going to go aside till I get the rest of the stuff for the project. And I don't need any stickers, but look at these kitties. I bought that kitty paper. I'm thinking, oh, kitty stickers, new kitty paper, new kitty stickers. I bought some fairy garden figurines, and this has like got the green man in the tree, and it's got like a little mushroom birdhouse. And uh, I'm going to take these outside and put them in my little fairy garden um, that I started. I already bought a couple things from the Dollar Tree, so I'm working on that. Oh, I, I bought a new spreader. I can't find the one I had before, but now that I bought one, I'm sure to find the old one. <laughs> and, ooh, I forgot I bought material. <laughs> okay. I bought these because they looked like farm. Farmhouse, yeah. The Happy Chicken Dream Farmhouse. <laughs> Honey Bee. Lucky Lubbock Creenery. <laughs> <laughs> Live simply, the lazy spoon. And then just, this one's just like ticking. I 
and that'd be interesting even to do like some slow stitch I can cut some of these things out a slow stitch around it and I got some vegetables and stuff let's see and oh I picked these up to put some of my new pencil sets in they open up so they're square in the bottom like that and I figure um, when I go outside I've got all my pens over there that I'm taking outside and I've got my new pens from Timu this set here I can put them in there so this will put some pens or pencils in here take things with me and what's this I was looking for another stamp block the other day, so I saw this, I picked it up. And the last two things I got, one for me and one for Stanley. I got these little wooden boxes. And Stanley's treasure chest. This is his little treasure box of stones that he's collected off the road. And I saw this, and I'm like, ooh, this would be so much fun. I could make him a little treasure chest. But somehow I'm going to have to decorate this so it looks like a little wooden chest or a little treasure chest or something. And he could put his rocks in there. And then I have an idea for this. So you'll have to wait and see. First, I'm going to, I think I'm going to gesso these and let the gesso soak in for a while and then I'm going to work on them. So I don't like the way that the top fits, but all I have to do is put two strips of foam in there and I think that'll keep that on secure. All right, so lots of bargains, lots of things for journaling and this is actually, I'm going to be keeping some ephemera in there. So this is also for journaling and journaling and journaling and journaling. All this is for journaling. And just about everything that I got at the flea market is for journaling. Except for the printer ink, which is also for journaling because I have to print out things. And um, this is going out in the garden. <laughs> But other than that, everything, all the material, the bag is for slow stitching. I do a slow stitch journal. So there you have it. And I just want to thank you for allowing me to share my bargains for junk journaling with you today. And I want to wish everybody happy bargain hunting. Bye bye.